So y'all do y'all do. on the second one uh, Mass One Eight Seven album. That's, that's Cricket City. Yeah, the Cricket City. That's where the Fat Pat verse for "Wanna Be a Baller" initially was. On yeah, okay. he came in and rapped that. Yeah, he rapped it. He did that verse for Mass One Eight Seven, and then right after that, he passed away. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He passed away. I'm like, God damn. So what was so, y'all relationship? Because I mean, at this point, Fat Pat is getting hot in the streets. Like yeah. you ain't never tried to sign on a, to shortstop or nothing like that. He was already with uh, K, uh, K, uh, Kojak and them, and he was already with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Okay. They was already doing their thing. Okay. I just respect that. I know him. We all from the hood. Just do y'all thing. I don't give a damn if you sign me or not. I never worry about nobody signing me. Yeah. You know, if you sign me, cool. If you're not, oh well. Yeah. I wish you luck. Chunk the dudes when I see you, we drank, we drank, get high, do something or whatever, go fuck yeah. something or whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. you know we were getting it in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> when he when he when Pat Pat died and I got ready to do one real baller, I had that verse and you know everybody was you know putting you know playing homage, putting Pat on different songs and stuff. Right. right. So I went in there and me and Grim we time compressed his vocals. And, and spiced it and, and cut it and shit and made it fit for Wanna Be A Baller. So when people hear Wanna Be A Baller, you never know that song, that verse come from somewhere else. I never right. know. Yeah. yeah, he just took know. the big just, ball and smashed and making my ends. I was today years old when I Smoking found that big out. killer, just getting just high in the bins. Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now nah, that song come from a whole nother, Fat Pat verse come from now, a whole nother song, different different speed and everything. Yeah, now, what and I y'all, always ch- y'all chopped them first few bars, yeah. doubled it and yeah. made it a full verse. Yeah. Full yeah. verse to fit. Yeah. Now, what I now since we don't Wanna Be A Baller, I'm sure we're gonna lead into that. Right. So, yeah. yeah, whatever. Yeah. Now, what, what was what was the decision to kind of go into um, saying shit? I'm gonna just do my own album. You know what I mean? Man, I got tired of motherfuckers running around there like they me and uh, want what <laughs> I got. You rapping, but you ain't putting no work to make no money. You you just recording songs in the studio, so you folks all the to feel that you got what I got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the motherfucker want me to take care of them, pay their rent. Hey, they gal need this, they need that. Hey, man, y'all got to get out there and get get hustling and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I was like, fuck this shit. You know, I'm like, man, I, I got everything everybody talk about shit. Right. I might well do my own album. So I started, you know, peeping game with, with Quincy Jones done. Quincy Jones did that that album, Q's Jew Joint. Q's Jew Joint, yeah. Mm-hmm. He, well, he ain't rap on it or nothing. He just produced it and put himself on the cover. Right. <laughs> yeah, now oh, I remember that. I can do that. Yeah. Shit, okay, I'm going to be the Quincy Jones of rap. With this motherfucker move right here, you know, that's what I'm thinking about. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what I'm going to do. And it was new because it ain't like now. Like, it wasn't no. too many people doing them type of albums. doing that like that. Yeah. That was new to everybody. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I rapped on a few songs, but... Hey, I want the main rap. I'm the business man. Right. right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So when I put it out, I put myself on the cover. And uh, first, when I had Mass 187, and uh, I take them around, I got to pay somebody to pass their postcards out, mm-hmm. pass their flyers out. They were too good to pass out their own flyers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They yeah. were so like, they need the promo team. And yeah, all so shit, I got to yeah. have a promo team when I tell my go somewhere because they won't pass their own stuff out. They'll get four or five postcards. They still find girls or something. They'll go get that girl one. But they yeah. just want to handle every dude one, every nigga yeah. one, every, anybody, you know what I mean? They just give everybody one. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. If they throw it down, oh, well, they looked at it ready to throw it down. I ain't, right. I ain't expecting you to keep the motherfucker. I want you to just look at it. I just want it. you to look at it so when you see it again, oh, yeah, I've seen that before. Right. Yeah, yeah. it's all. It's in your mind now. That's yeah. all. You're going to see it every weekend. They get mad mm-hmm. if somebody look at it and they throw it on the ground. I'm not mad at that. Mm-hmm. I fuck around, pick the bitch back up, and have an extra one for to get to the next person. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it ain't tore up or nothing. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So my thing is just get the get it in your mind. Get you here in mass when they sell because there's something new, a new something saying mass when they sell, mass when they sell. I want that to get in your mind. So they ain't want to pass their own shit. I say shit. Me and Grim was talking. Grim was a little me then, right? The one that did the Scarface record. Yeah. So he said, man, why don't you do your own album? I said, you know what? I think that's what I'm going to do, man. I put my own self on the motherfucking cover. And I did that. So I started calling everybody, get everybody on the song with yeah, me. Everybody yeah. doing, come out and doing songs with me. I knew everybody. And the only person that ain't show up, Lil Kiki. He'll tell you. That's my nigga. He'll tell you. I was just going to ask you One of the biggest that. mistakes he'll tell you he made for not showing up to the studio. St- standing me up like twice. Yeah, I, I was going <laughs> to ask you about that because I had him on there and I was asking him uh about him missing that record, you know what I'm saying? What did he say? And he was just like, yeah, man, I, I missed it. Yeah, he was yeah. just like, he missed it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just being young and shit, like, he just yeah. missed it. Yeah, he record. didn't show up for the studio twice. Two sessions I had set up for him to be uh, on the song. Man. So who was going to be the original 
uh, people on the record. Was Youngster originally gonna be on that? Youngster got like two other verses on that motherfucker. That's what I was gonna ask before because I when they came out uh, somehow I, I only heard it one time. It was like an extended version. We had two more, and I tell people this, and they're like, "Nah, you tripping?" Yeah. And I've been looking on YouTube. Yeah, I'm fine. You ain't gonna release it? Nah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I know got, I heard I got, it once, and you just I, confirmed I got, it, so I, got, I ain't tripping. I got another two verses on Youngster. He did on, on that song. You know what I'm saying? I know. I we put tripping. two verses on there, and then I got two other verses. You know what I'm saying? We just freestyling. Yeah. Nice, nasty. You know what I'm saying? So what? So was I mean? Was Will, it gonna be? Was it? Was it Will, initially gonna be Kiki, Youngster, Will, Fat Pat? Was it gonna be all them and Kiki? I or? was just putting everybody on the motherfucker, man. No shit. Yeah, I was just putting everybody on it, man. It was just a, we played the hook. In, a, in the instrumental for months before I even started putting people on it, man. We were just, we knew it was a nice song. We knew the bitch was jamming. Mm -hmm. We knew it, it was jamming. Yeah. You know, Big T came over there and sung the hook and shit, and and and, and I made up a little piece of it and tell him how to sing it and shit. That I'm thinking that's what I'm helping out doing. But come to find out later on, I got to give props to what props do. ESG made that song up. I, I just found out ESG wrote it, yeah. 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 And I never knew. He wrote knew. the hook. He wrote the yeah. hook, yeah. No shit. Yeah. Did Big I T really knew. close his eyes and do this when he sang the hook? Like, did he really do that in the studio? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> I know he sang that motherfucker. But, yeah, you know, did. I'm going to give a shout out to ESG because, you know what I'm saying, really and truly, he made the song. I did not never know. That Big T Ed was over there singing it with him and can't sing it for me. When he can't sing it for me, I'm like, let's come on, I want, I want that hook. Come on, pay for it. Let's do it. Yeah. And I did it. Yeah. Not knowing that was ESG had done. So it. were you doing everybody like that kind of on some work for hire? Like yeah. shit, give me the hook, work for hire, boom, yeah, I buy the hook. Yeah, right then. Yeah, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Smart. So Smart. yeah. I, I, yeah. Yeah. If you know so, if you know music, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I done yeah. that. And we put the motherfucker out, man, and um, it thought, you know, first I put out an Austin Midnight Sale. I put out an Austin ran commercial down there, did Midnight Sale, had the line out the door. When we got down there, bitch was out the door waiting on 12 o'clock to come for they could start buying the album. Okay, Austin tell, was the first tell me. To play it. Oh, you said Austin was? Yeah, Austin. Sit, was. Tell me this, because that, that shit came out and it hit big, but how did you get that the print sample clear? Because people wouldn't, like, Pac, you know, Pac and maybe one other person may be the only people Nobody I know. knew it was a print sample. I thought after Universal picked it up, right? They put it out. Then they called me a little month later or something. Hey, Troy, uh, stretching their heads and shit. Is that Prince on this song? Yep. We didn't know that was Prince. Oh, we got to try to get it cleared. And, oh, man. I said, hey, well, that's what it is. It's it been replayed. It ain't no sample or nothing. We replayed it. Yeah. And it come from a special edition of 12-inch uh, Prince had. You know what I'm saying? That's a little red Corvette. They yeah. Like, yeah, that little red Corvette. Yeah, but you can't just hear it here unless you just know it. And know that we, how we did it. Right. And Prince gave us an okay. He loved how we did it. He said, fuck no, no shit. shit. Oh, we ain't paid man. Prince a dime. The purple one. Huh. Prince That's gave tough. us props, man. He liked how we did it. We was young coming up. Y'all do that. Man, man. Prince is black yeah. excellence, man. Prince uh, Universal was like, oh, good word. Good news, Troy. Prince said, well, he don't want nothing from it, man. Good. They like the way y'all replayed it. And that's what I'm saying. And this is the thing you got to know. If you know anything about Prince and clearing samples, Prince don't really clear too many samples. Yeah, like, sure it's not know. too many people. It's, it's not. I replayed it. So he liked the way yeah. we replayed it. Yeah. It was an interpolation of his song. Interpolation, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't just straight ball for ball, word, right. key for key or nothing. Right. So he, right. he liked it. You know, we slowed it down and played it and did it. So he was, he was like... We're gonna let them use that, and yeah. uh, it was a blessing from God and Prince, cause he could have took all the copyrights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, yeah. I've been sitting here right now, pockets on empty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the record come out, and I mean, you go, you go first through. Uh, did you do Southwest Wholesale? Yeah, or what Southwest Wholesale. Yeah, so, so, talk about that. Yeah, you know, I've been, I've been selling records to Southwest Wholesale from the Scarface days. So now they've been open that long. Yeah, way for then. No oh, shit. Sure. So now I was selling. I'm telling you, I got paid. I'm selling cassette tapes for five dollars. Mm -hmm. Right, hmm. two songs on the motherfucker. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, 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 so I was selling them to the stores and shit. So I'm getting five dollars a single at the time. Yeah, they sell eight, nine dollars for the for the cover. Yeah, people was buying it for the cover. Yeah, the cover was some new gangster shit. Yeah, cause yeah. Them they, ain't and, nobody and, had seen that before. They knew that from Cali and Ice T them on that gangster shit. And I come here with that gangster shit on the cover. The cover by itself was like. Man, yeah. that cover's live. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So people were buying it like that. And then, so Robert, at first, Robert didn't take it. I had to put it in the stores on consignment and keep my little consignment papers together and take you three, four cassettes and four albums 
three CD, three cassettes, and three albums around every motherfucking store, and just backtrack every other day, every other week. Just, just check on it. And check on and give you some more. You pay my little nineteen dollars you owe me or something, twenty two dollars yeah. you might owe me, and I go to the next store, pick up forty six dollars mm-hmm. and shit. And then I sit up on the corner at the, at the car wash and it might sell a hundred, two hundred CD, you know, a hundred, two hundred dollars worth of CDs every other day. You know what I'm saying? I mean, cassettes every yeah. other day. So that was my hustle right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then next thing you know, that's a, that's a lot of independent up. money if y'all are listening and adding this shit yeah, up. Them, you know, yeah. so Roberts picked it up. And you start selling it to uh, other little cities and stuff like that. So we sold a few copies. You know, there wasn't nothing to write home to mom about at the time and shit. Yeah. But we sold some records and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, then, but, but, but when you come with Want to Be a Baller, though, oh, at this time, a baller came on the like, independent <clears throat> level, you moving how many oh, units? Oh, man, I started doing so many records. It at was, what point did it, like, pop like that? You did the deal. That's what I'm trying to figure out. How many were you at, like, well, me two, and Cino, Me and Sino came out the same time, right? Yeah. That when they used that little uh, uh, service wholesale um, newsletter. And let you know who's hot, what numbers we are, and all this shit, right? Yeah. Me and Cino came out the same time. We anticipating this shit coming out. That first week, Cino, so I sold me. I'm like, damn, Cino selling me like a motherfucker. <laughs> but I ain't know that they didn't get a chance to ship all my stuff out. Yeah. They, they didn't get the shipping out right, you know what I'm saying? So his first week sale was my, bigger than mine. Second week, I just passed them up. And then after that, he was coming. I passed him. I just, just kept on going. Yeah. You know, what I done, right, I did something that nobody really, they ain't really recognize what I done for the capital in 99, right? Okay. What I did, I went to the radio station and bought a whole bunch of radio commercials. All of them for a minute long, right? Right. And just man. played my song Play from soul. the beginning <laughs> to the hook. And when it got to go off, brand new Little Troy stores now. That's all it said. <laughs> brand, brand new Little Troy stores now. Hmm. But it done played the first verse. So everybody So you caught it. in, yeah. Everybody playing out their car because they think the radio playing it. Now the yeah. radio was playing the song, but yeah. it wasn't as big yet for them. Yeah. Until after they came back from the capital, everybody was requesting it. Everybody in Dallas requesting it. Also requesting it because they've been hearing it all oh, the yeah. whole weekend. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the capital. Yeah, Kappa, it, it went, it, it, man, it, it was a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like me, like I say, I bought all these commercials for the whole weekend. Damn. So hmm. all you heard every time three minutes, a commercial came on, it's Wanna Be a Baller, Shot Collar, 20 Blade. Yeah. You know what, what made you think to do that, yeah. though? Because that's, I mean, that's some next level thinking, man. Like, hey, man, you know, just sit there and be high and thanks for this shit. Yeah, go execute it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm like, say, that they're not playing my record on the radio, but if I just play my song, fuck, it's like they're hearing it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. they did. You and put it in the saying? ad and you're like, fuck it. Then next thing you know, they called me. They want to add the record and shit. And it just popped off from there. And then, they, was, you know, we're doing a show there. Well, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 we selling with something. Robert got to cut these checks now. Yeah. He yeah. cutting checks now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, Troy, I need twenty thousand. I need fifteen thousand. I need ten thousand more records and shit. So we get them pressed up, ship more to him. He give me so much money up front. You know what I'm saying? He Man. selling them. And so Tony Draper called me. You know from Suave House. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He said, "Hey, what up, Troy? I was in the studio making a show CD." Hey, what up, boy? I said, ain't too much, man. Just getting in the studio. He said, hey, man, these people down there want to holler at you. I said, what people? Universal. They're trying to holler at you, man. He was already with Universal. Yeah. Tony Draper them was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With A-Ball them, they was already with Universal. He said, these people in Universal trying to holler at you. I said, what they talking about? And I'm going to let you talk to them. I told them they can't come with no bullshit because you ain't, with, you ain't with that bullshit already. I said, yeah, no, nah, fuck that shit. They get on the phone. Hey, Troy, Monty Lipman, president, vice president, and him and the brother. Man, we want to sign you to the university. We want to come holler and talk to you. All right. Well, shit, when y'all coming down, I got some shows I'm doing right now, so I can't come up there. He say, we're going to come down tomorrow. When your show? I said, I got a show tomorrow night. We'll be there. So the next night, they was at my show. I see some white boys over there by the bar. I don't know who they are, because they don't met them. Yeah. So I'm sitting up. We get, up, we get through doing our shit. Everybody loving us. It's just crunk at the mm-hmm. time. You know what I'm saying? So they, I'm talking to everybody. I, I got off the stage, and they come to me. Hey, hey, man, we Monty Lipman. I'm Avery. Um, we were Universal Records. Oh, hey, how y'all doing? Man, we can just get 10 minutes of your time. We just want to talk to you for a minute. We want to sign you. What we just seen, we signing you, man. We want to sign y'all. We'll sign you. Whatever needs to be done. I said, well, I got to wait and you know, see what y'all offering first. So the next morning, I go meet back with them in the morning. They going back to New York. They trying to get me to fly to New York right then. Hmm. Go back with them. 
I said, I can come tomorrow. I got something I got like another show tonight. I'll come tomorrow. I had my lawyer come meet me down there. So we were go. so, Listen to this, people. Yeah. He had so, his lawyer. Yeah, my lawyer. Uh, my lawyer is, matter of fact, my lawyer is, is Mass one of one of Mass one and seven's uncles. Oh no okay. shit! So he helped taught me the business when I got with his, 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 his nephews. He said, hey, "Look, these are my nephews, but you got to use rappers as commodities. Mm. All right, don't fall in love with no rappers. You know what I'm saying? Get them, make money, keep going. Mm. Even though these are my nephews, don't make sure they right. But this is what you got to do. Mm. You're gonna be in business. Yeah. So, you know, matter of fact, you need to go get this book by I think James Patterson or whoever I think. Uh, Everything you need to know about the music, music business. business. Yeah. Go get that book." Yeah. And go get this book. He told me them books to go get. So I started getting the books while we mass one seven, sitting on the toilet, blowing a sweet reading. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? While everybody's outside doing their thing, I'm sitting in the house starting to read, trying to learn this business now. Yeah. It's starting to get business now. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Got this lawyer teaching me, telling me stuff. So I got to learn. When he's talking to me, I know what he's talking about. Yeah. Right. yeah. So <clears throat> I learned the business with them. So when I did the deal with Mass One, I mean, with Universal, I flew him from Philadelphia and I, and, and, and I came from Houston. We got down there. They came with the contract, and and Universal was tripping that I'm stretching our shit on the contract myself, and hmm. telling my lord, no, we can't have this here. This gotta go. We can't do this here. And they was tripping that I knew how to read contracts. Yeah. Hmm. They was they didn't understand that, and the money they offered me at first, I said, no, nah, I done made that already, man. Y'all don't y'all don't want me. Hmm. What y'all offer me right now, y'all don't want me. Hmm. I'm not finna sign for that. You must you must you. I mean, the regular so Southwest Hotel already. <laughs> they had to come on with it. Yeah. <laughs> they came mm -hmm. on with it. Then I had so many. Then I made them buy. Let me sell off my inventory with Southwest Wholesale for they put in them in the back in circulation. No shit. Oh, that was live. So I got another like three fifty <sighs> from just from Southwest Wholesale. Yeah, on, on on CDs I had sitting there. You know what I'm saying? They they owe me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was like it was going on. So what kind of deal did you do? Did you did you an artist deal, a shortstop label deal, a one album deal? It, it was or? it was like. In between both, a app or a labor deal, sort of with the artist, sort of both. Yeah. I got my labor involved, right, so you can get some money out of it. Right, right, and right. Anyway, right. I, I didn't get no artist deal to get no 11, 12 points. Yeah. I got a little more than that. Yeah. Every time I sold CD, I got a dollar in some cents. You know what I'm saying? I ain't get no 80, uh, 32 cents or 18 yeah. cents or no shit yeah. like that. I got, I got, got a paper. dollar some change. Yeah. I got a dollar some change. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that, that add up. Yeah. Easy, yeah. real quick. Yeah. Versus, you know what I'm saying? Cause I told myself, I'm gonna go from me selling my own record, making this, and then I'm gonna y'all gonna give me these little pennies cause I knew how I, how it go. And then, so they made me a little deal. I got a little more money and escalated every year. And as long as I sold records, you know what I'm saying? So I, I got a pretty much, pretty good deal with Universe. I ain't gonna lie, they still paying me real good checks right now today. Yeah. I, I'm living off of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I've been blessed on that end to do a good deal. You mm. know, a lot of times they don't give us all this no good deal because they know more than we know. Right. They were just convincing me that we're gonna sell way more records and I'll make more money down the line than I will just independent. Okay, I know that. And I want to be on a, on a major label to get some major exposure, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. And right, they right. did that. They gave me some major exposure and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so uh, the record come out. The shit is everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Now you didn't sign a deal. What? What? How? How is it? How is it changing for you? Like y'all moving around, y'all traveling and shit. We traveling a lot. We was already traveling a lot already. You know what I'm saying? But we flying more now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because record company got us doing promos, and then I made the record company pay my guys. Hey man, they they can't come for free. I, okay, y'all y'all ain't gotta pay me like that, but y'all gotta pay these guys, man. Y'all give me some money to pay these guys to go on the road doing these shows. Yeah. Yeah, I made Universal pay me every time they wanted me to do a free show. My boys got some money. Hmm. So tell me about That's this too, because I was listening about how Hawk was working a, a regular job at the time. <laughs> what you heard? He was working. He was working a regular job at the time, and uh, you know what I'm saying. He stepped away from the job, got to leave or something. You know what I'm saying? While y'all was on the run with the thing, doing shows and all that. <laughs> I went to him. I said, Hey, Hawk, you doing a lot of these shows? You know, I got you doing the shows. I already had him in the video at being. Fat Pat in the video, you right. know what I'm saying? Right. So I say, man, look, I got a bunch of shows, man, and I'm gonna pay you a thousand dollars a night every show we get, man. I know, you know, you got your job, but I got work for you for the next six months, man. You can get paid. You ain't gotta worry. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna come, I'm offering to you right now. You can go on a roll with us and do do your part, your brother part, and get paid. All you gotta do is that one song. Hmm. Hmm. He went. He said, man, I'm gonna call you tomorrow. Call me the next day. Hey, man. I'm on. I'm in, Troy. He took a leave of absence from his job to come go on the road with me. to do shows with me. 
Yeah. 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 We out in Hawaii. We everywhere. That's Man, that's crazy. I wonder if, like, if social media was around then, just oh imagine the insta capping that would have been going on to taking a leave <laughs> of absence to yeah. rapping one of the biggest. When did you know the song was like a cultural hit? Because it's, it's really bigger than Houston. When people associate Houston, associate Houston, that's probably what, the first song the that they go to, yeah. like, want to be a baller. Like, yeah. and it's across not only like like geographical lines but even racial lines like yeah, everybody no, all demographics in general general of people like the song you right know what i'm saying you know not just black not just white not just hispanic not china everybody like the song and from all age groups right it's just like a it's a it's, it's, a, it's a classic now it's just a it's a classic you know what i'm saying so you know we traveling if we got whites blacks hispanic we're doing all kind of shows you know what i'm saying and we were loving it, you know what I'm saying? The women, the best weed, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I have, I had a thing that when they traveled with me, if we ain't fucking front of each other, I docked your pay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you ain't gonna tell shit. Yeah. You ain't gonna tell nothing. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> don't don't knock off nothing in front of nobody to see if I don't dock your pay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's wild. <laughs> like, I know them tours was crazy, man. man. Was crazy, come on, man. man. Come on, man. Even, even back then, I wouldn't let nobody come in our room and let they had ID. Yeah, you yeah. couldn't come in our room, especially none of my room. I, I even had them not to let people come in their room without no ID. You had to, I had to make sure that you was old enough to be in these rooms and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because at the time, they were really flopping. They were flocking then. You know what I'm saying? They mm-hmm. were flocking. Be all in the lobby, way outside, and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? So, but they had to have ID. If your girlfriend ain't got ID, oh, well, she better go to the lobby, hang out, sit on the floor right inside the door until you get through. Until you leave out the room or something. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we, we wasn't having it. I didn't. I ran a tight ship. We didn't, uh, we didn't never hardly go to jail from no shows. We didn't never get no, break, no fights from no shows mm-hmm. or none of that. We wouldn't got that yeah. paper on to the next show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And certain times, I used to hire some of my police officer friends to come because my homeboys, they be ready to fight. If anything, somebody say something to me. Mm-hmm. If somebody out of line don't look right, they ready to fight. So I'm like, hey, man, y'all got to cut that shit out, man. We trying to get this money. Right. Y'all trying to fight and shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't have no issues on the road. But they just throw thug, died, and still, you know what I'm saying, charge you my nigga. I got to make sure you straight all the time. I mean, I'm going to be straight. Look, don't you know, don't nobody say nothing and do nothing to I give you the look. Let's do it. Other we don't do that, we're going to talk our way out of it and keep on going. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm going to do. I'm more of a, you know what I'm saying, let me talk out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no, we ain't scary. But hey, why why we need to spend this extra money? Yeah, paying to get somebody out of jail. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Then I got real big. I started hiring a couple of police officers. That way they can carry guns when we go. Mm-hmm. And say my nigga that was carrying guns, they ain't had no license. Yeah, right. you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. we had to hide the guns on the bus and shit. They hide the shit. Then I hide the police officers. We could go everywhere we want to go with them. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't got to worry about it. Anything go on, they gonna take care and deal with the paperwork, and I'm going to the next show. Yeah. Yeah. I'm finna go still get that money, you know what I'm saying? We had shows back to back, back to back, off one day, back to back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Two in the same night, yeah. two different cities and shit, you know what I'm saying? So we was out there. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it was it was nice. Hawk them, Lil Will, rest in peace. Real, Big rest T, in peace. rest in peace. Hawk, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Fat Pat, rest in peace. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. Everybody I, except, except Troy and Young. Yeah, you know, mm. when when this last little incident happened with Big T, I was already feeling so bad because my little cousin Will had passed, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, you know, his mom, mom, his mom and my, his daddy, they still some brothers. Okay, okay. So, you know what I'm saying? That's my real relative right there. I started start thinking about finding a destination. Hmm. Oh, man. And, you know, I hate to say it, but I started, wait a minute, man, all these people passed off this, off this one song, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like, you know, we got a bunch of people in the hood just passed, you know, rappers and stuff, but they all on one song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It fucked me up for a minute, though. I ain't yeah. lying. I, I started thinking about it, dreaming about it. Like, man, this ain't happening now. God, take that away from me. Take that out of my mind. I don't want to think like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Don't. I know you ain't bring me this far for nothing like that to go down. No, I know you didn't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and so it done played out now. But when it first started happening, I was thinking about finding a destination. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, want to be a ball is a smash, you know what I'm saying? That shit ended up selling like damn near two million. Yeah. And like a lot of people recognize so, their record from the album, but I'm gonna tell you, like one of my favorite ones was that still a bitch in my book. Bitch man. in my book. Oh, yeah. 
Oh man, City Boy Classic. Man, I'm talking about, and this before Lil Nas X and all them yeah, doing that yeah. country rapping. You know what I'm saying? This is that's all now. Yeah, right. You would get canceled right now for that shit. You know that, right? I get what? They would cancel you right now. Right now, oh you, oh they'd fire you up on Twitter about this still a bitch in my book. It's a classic, but you yeah. know they get down now. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Universal begged me to put it out as a single. Yeah, what, what at, happened with that? As, as that right now, Universal don't have no. You a producer? Yeah. All I gave Universal my album is as a CD for them to make copies of. They don't have no tracks or nothing, no separation or no music. So you got all your masters. I got all my masters. Universal do not have my masters. Come on, man. Say, man, come on, man, give me something on on this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, the master they got is a master fucking CD. Oh man, <laughs> man, so come they on. Could never so you got your masters, you got the publishing on the record. You, you, yeah. So yeah, they they yeah. wanted they begged me to put uh um still a bitch still a bitch in my book out. They said, Troy, we're gonna sell another half a million a million records if you put this out. Let's shoot the video, go clean <laughs> it up. And, you know, they asked me to send them masters and they'll clean it up. I know I always made excuses. It's only real to real. And I got other songs and I got to transfer it. And I kept them. Yeah. I fed them that motherfucking <laughs> shit for years and years and years. <laughs> I fed them that motherfucking game right there. And so I would never give them the, uh, a remix of Bitch in My Book because I went to the guy that sung it, said and Natty, right? R.I.P. Uh, said he, he had a car crash. He killed him. He got killed. So Natty, who sung the song, right? I go to him and say, man, look, we're going to make a video. They were my, my group, Bad Company. Okay. They were with me. Okay. Hey, not on paper, but they yeah. were with me. Yeah. So I said, man, we're going to make a remix on, uh, on Bitch in My Book. I'm going to put me an eighth on there, and we're going to shoot a video. Universe going to give us this money to shoot a video. They start tripping, saying, man, we don't know what you want. You, know, you, you, you being on our song like that. God damn, what you mean? I'm not gonna do another. I'm not gonna put another video, or another song out that not me on it. I'm gonna say something on the motherfucker. Yeah. If I knew one of the baller would have did that, I'd say, Hey, mama, love you on that bitch or something. Because <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah, I'm gonna tell you this bitch. one thing: when I first saw the video, you could tell I'm like, I was young. I was probably maybe like eighth, ninth grade when Wanna Be a Baller came out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I remember watching the video and I'm like, Little Troy. Like, okay, I know all the rappers' names. None of these guys' names is Little Troy. And I see the video, you ride in the bins. I'm like, oh, yeah. he the one with the money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah. just being young, I could just yeah. pick that shit out. I'm like, oh, he the one with the money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Video came out nice, too. I yeah. think I like it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? That so. be a better way. Yeah. So I tell Natty, man, look, man, look, man, y'all tripping, man. I'm, uh, you, know, you know, they want some money to be in the videos. I tell Universe they want some money. Universe, we'll give them some money. And what they asked me for, they want like 20000 to be in the video, do a video. No, nah, I ain't getting y'all motherfucking no $20,000. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Y'all crazy. Fuck that shit. Then they think, then they say. But they didn't have no other records out or nothing at the nah, time. So this is nah, really like a, a good look. Because yeah. want to be a baller on, so this is going to yeah, be the follow-up. Follow and this is just going to be right. Yeah. So yeah. then they wanted 5000 if I be on there. I said, what? Then get the fuck out of here. That mean if I pay you, I'm paying you to cut my grass. And if I want to stand, and I'm paying you $20 to cut my grass, if I want to stand outside and look, you tell me I, you, I got to pay you $5 for me to look at you cut my grass too? Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Y'all, y'all ain't even sign to me. You do the video, and I can go do y'all own motherfucking thing then. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. could be on your own, but they couldn't foresee that like that. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have the vision like that. Yeah. So we wind up not shooting the video, not doing the song or nothing, because if I ain't going to be on the song, on something I'm putting out, I'm not finna put the motherfucker out. So Universal was like, Troy, we'll give them the money. Whatever they want. We, you going to make more money? We're going to sell at least a half a million records right now. Everybody's liking this song. They want it. But it's too dirty. We can't clean it up. Yeah. I know. Fuck the motherfucker. They won't make no motherfucking money off me. I give a damn about that. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm paid already. I don't know what the fuck y'all want. I'm paid. So y'all don't want to make no money? Fuck y'all. So hmm. we didn't ever do it. You know what I'm saying? To the right now today. I, I might release it without the ad. You know what I'm saying? I can go in there and remix and add to myself and put the bitch out. But I just, you know, people been asking me to do it, but I just ain't never did it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, that's, so, that's definitely, that's another classic, though, yeah, man. Yeah, Universal, love it. Want me to use it. Yeah. Want me to do it, and I won't clean it up for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so what happens after that? Like, because I mean, I don't think it was any more singles or anything. What happened? Did you get locked up or something yeah. after that? Okay. Oh, see, I see what it was. I called a case before I put the album out. Sitting fat down south, I caught the case in like June of uh, '98. Uh, I caught, uh, I got caught in the hallway with a couple of bricks. Hmm. So I was fighting the case when I put the motherfucker out. You know what I'm saying? After I come home, I was still working on the album. Shit, I hadn't recorded number two songs when I caught the case. 
You know, and I did the flyer with me on the cover and shit, start putting it out. And then when, when we put the motherfucker out in first of the year and shit, you know, I had to go sit down. Yeah. I had, I had to go sit, I had to go to the feds. But I'd already finished the album and, and put it out and the motherfucker was buying it and shit like this here. So then I had to go sit down. So once I went sit down, that's when it just, it, it was taking off. It was doing its thing. Yeah. So before I come home, I tell Universal, I say, look out, Universal. Monty, uh, look here, man. We need to start this campaign now. I'll be home about six months, five, six months now. We need to start, you know, little truck walk to walk, uh, little truck walk to walk, talk to talk, fresh off lock. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let's start building a campaign by me going to jail. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bring them back up. You know what I'm saying? I shot them how I want to do it, the cover how I want to do it, and shit. You know what I'm saying? They will never start no, 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 no ads, no papers, no magazine source or nothing. They will start shit. So I'm pissed off now. Hmm. I'm like, why in the fuck did we not start the campaign? I'm finna come home. We can get started now. You know what I'm saying? Right. It take a couple months for the magazines to get in, start getting circulating and everything. Well, no internet then. Right. So it was magazine. They didn't want to do it. So after I come home, they like, yeah, we, we ready to do your album right now. You know what I'm saying? I said, all right, I'm working on the album right now. So I sent them the cover I, was do, I did. Well, we need to hear the music. Now? It's just a back to bottle now. Yeah, back to bottle album. They, they, yeah. We need to hear, we need to hear, uh, uh, it was some old song before the album though. I did that album with Koch. So they need to hear the album. I said, nah. He said, yeah, they ain't know. I want to see what songs you got. We can pick a single. I said, hold up, man. Y'all ain't pick my first single. from the fuck y'all doing? Think y'all ain't pick my single now? Yeah. All I need y'all to do is give me a release date. I have the album turned into y'all. And we get, and I come down there and we got a promotional campaign going on on the single and an album. That's what we're doing. Oh, Trump, we need to hear the songs and stuff. Not knowing that I rec recognize and remember in the, in the contract that any songs I send to y'all become y'all library. Hmm. So I never sent them a song. They never got my album, not one song of my second album that I done, even songs I ain't even put on the album. They never got no songs. So then they were like, well, we can't put it out. We don't get no album. Well, I'm finna put out my damn self. I don't need y'all to put my music out. I put this shit out my damn self. You can't put your own album out. Yes, I can. So I call Monty. Monty, we having problems with your A&R people and this and that. They want to hear my music and this and that. Look, do me a favor. Let me off y'all. Let me off the contract. He said, you want to be off? I said, Monty. I had, we had a good run. We done, did great. Let me off. Don't stop my livelihood. This how I eat. By me putting my music out like this here. He said, Troy, I got you. No problem. I'm going to let you off your contract. So he, they did the paperwork about like two, three days later. Sent me the paperwork. Releasing me for my album, all my obligations and stuff. But they still got to pay me. You know what I'm saying? They still got to pay me for the album. So the day after that, I called him. Hey, Monty. I ain't get no check. What check, Troy? Uh, what you uh, No, that pay or play check, that one fifty. Ooh. So they had to pay me one hundred fifty thousand dollars to get off that label. If you didn't Ooh. put no album out, you had to pay me one hundred fifty thousand dollars to get off your album. So next day they had me a check cut sent to me for one hundred fifty thousand dollars to get off their label. Damn. Tell me they ain't gangster, goddamn. That's hard. That's hard. Huh? That's hard. I put in there pay or play. Hmm. If you don't put my album out, you got to pay me to get off your label. And they sent me a check for 150. But see, that's I think so that's what labels be messing up because they be, I think, underestimating a lot of shit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Man. Especially like back in the day, like coming from the south and shit. They probably ain't think like shit, pay or play. Yeah, they weren't. They weren't thinking about yeah. it. They, they, they didn't think I really knew what I put in there. Right. You know what I'm mean? saying? Right. We slide and slid in there. You know what I'm saying? It's pay or play. They weren't thinking they were gonna have to pay that. Right. But Monty, he held his word. I promise that man, it was a good dude to me. Monty let me. He, he took care of his business with me, paid me, got off the label. Then I went to Koch Records. Yeah. 